We've got a reputation, World Caribbean, for being able to build very special escape room venues. And we were looking for our next idea, and we're all Apollo fans, and we realized that essentially launching a space rocket and landing astronauts on the moon is a puzzle. It's essentially what mission controllers did for a living. So we are in a faithful reproduction of mission control from the 60s and the 70s, which we've now installed on Oasis of the Seas. I asked the great Jerry Griffin if he would come and do a ribbon cutting for us at our mission control, and he said yes, and he came. This is the gentleman, when I asked him which Apollo missions did he flight direct? The answer is I was a flight director for all of the Apollo manned missions. We were honored to have Jerry Griffin join us, and having him inside our room for Apollo 18 mission control was just, it was really a pinch yourself moment. And then when he loved the room, we were just over the moon. Oh my, good gosh. You can tell by the detail of all of this that's been done in here that the designers knew what they were doing and they, they did not cut it short. You have no idea how hard we worked on that green. Uh -huh. I tell you what, the color is exact. And, and, and this, uh, this color as well. Uh -huh. When I first walked in it, uh, it felt like I'd just walked back into Houston. You don't have as many consoles as we had. Yes, of course. Right. But you're close. <laughs> and you got all the major functions. We used to call it the cathedral. And um, I get the same feel here. I don't think there was anything more dramatic and more beautiful than a Saturn V rocket launching from the Cape Canaveral launch pads. So I thought, why don't we try to recreate that? Apollo, in reality, went to Apollo 17, and we decided to launch the 18th Apollo mission. Welcome to the mission Apollo 18. Woo! The way you play Apollo 18 mission control is 12 of your friends come together, and you are given your mission, which is to launch a Saturn V rocket. You guys were missing That's one. Good. It's up to the group to find clues. I don't need this one. To solve puzzles. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. To turn on the consoles. <laughs> get into your go-no-go -go flight sequence and uh, hopefully launch the rocket within 50 minutes. Launch control to Houston. The systems are go. Got it. It's come out so beautifully. We've got to remember that Apollo is perhaps humankind's greatest achievement. Genuinely, if you look into the history and you look into the technology and you think about the fact that this was 50 years ago, what those people did that were involved in this program it almost defies description. Now that I've seen it, I think there are going to be a generation of kids that get as much out of this as their parents, or maybe more, and they'll be good at it. Speaking to Jerry, I mean, he's the guy, he's the man. I mean, this is one of the original Apollo flight directors. So to have him in this room is kind of a dream come true. And he kindly offered to sign this poster logo I created. He made a point after my question of which mission had you worked on, which was all of them, he put every mission, Apollo 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and today he added 18. 